hi friends welcome to my channel today today we're going to do um, animals in Igbo language actually I got this idea for Facebook because I, I was thinking okay I can do this today but then someone commented under my last video with oh animals in Igbo language da, 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 this, this. I was like okay this is a great idea I'm just gonna help people learn how to pronounce and say animals in Igbo language so I think this is gonna be fun because in Igbo language, you use you use um, animals to insult people. Like you can call somebody something, or you can call somebody anything, but it's an animal. So this should be fun because I'm gonna try to use them in sentences, and let's see how it goes. But I already know it's fun because I know I use a lot of words to insult people when I'm insulting people. So this should be fun. But I gotta make comments because I know this is not my usual appearance when I'm making videos. I just come here natural looking. I just made a video on how I did my hair. So that's why I had to show the finished products with some makeup on. But yes, do not expect this look on my next video because it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm too tired to be doing makeup every time I have to make a video. Anywho, the first thing I have on the list is goats. I'm pretty sure if you're a Nigerian or Nigerian-American that you've heard somebody call someone else a goat. In Igbo, it's ewu, ewu. If you want to say you're a goat, you say iwu, ewu, iwu, ewu. The male goat is called mpi, mpi. Say iwu mpi. <laughs> mpi usually smells. So that's why you can see someone go deep into not just saying iwu, ewu emphasizing that somebody's in pee because in pee stinks <laughs> and then the female goat is ne -wu, ne -wu. it's just a female goat you know females are calm nothing serious just ne -wu, that's it <laughs> and then the next um animal that i have for you is fowl chicken chicken is called okoko okoko so you hear somebody tell somebody that they, ha they have the brain of okoko you basically say the person doesn't, doesn't have sense. The person have brain. The person is dumb. You when you shock a That's why I said this 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 you know a lot of insults come you use you use animals to refer to someone just as an insult in the language. The male okoko is okokba. Okay, okay, there's a difference. Trust me with that. Uh, well, if you go to Igbo land, there's a big difference between the Okokpa and the female one, which is Neku. There's a big difference between Okokpa and Neku because, um, for me, I would say the first thing first is that Okokpa is usually taller, it's now closer to the ground, it's usually taller, it has taller legs. And I know I'm describing chicken like this, I know, but hey, if you if you stayed in the village, you would know what I'm saying. So the female chicken is okokpa, and the male chicken is neku. Pay attention. The next time you go to Nigeria, pay attention. You see what I'm saying. The next thing I have on the list is guinea fowl, which is called orgazi. Orgazi. I don't usually think people call each other that, but you can if you want to. You can use anything as an insult. Turkey, turkey, we call turkey, toro toro. <laughs> I like this, this is so fun. We call turkey, toro toro. <laughs> and I know some people say toro toro, whatever, toro toro, whatever, we call turkey, toro toro, you get the G's. The next one is cow. We call cow, a fee, a fee. Some people say ehi. I know my people say ehi, but I know some dialects say efi. And then you will hear Nigerian uncles and Nigerian dads call each other obefi, obefi, okay, obefi. <laughs> it's just, it's just a way of praising each other. That means the person likes cow and they kill cow a lot. Whatever it is, but you if you heard somebody call somebody a wefi, ifi is cow. They were referring to the cow. Maybe they go and kill cow, or the person likes to eat cow, or the person can afford cow. I don't know, but I know it's a way to praise someone. Rats. See all these rats. You know, I went to the Bronx one time. Woo! 
Bronx has big rats. <laughs> big, big rats. I was like, shit. <laughs> Anywho, rats, it's called okay. It will okay. It will okay. I know the instance I used to give someone when I, you know, I was smaller was, um, so if somebody is like, uh, you know, acting proud or, you know, misbehaving, you say, Okay, I'm not even gonna try to translate. Oh, you tell the person, hey, let me make a bread out um bread or something like that. It's okay. I mean, I just know that in you use animals to insult people a lot, but rats is okay. I don't wanna, you know, get carried away with all this insults. Squirrel is awesome. Squirrel is awesome. Dog. You all have a dog. Of course, you all have a dog. And some of you might know this dog is Nkita. Nkita. I don't think people usually use Nkita to insult each other. But dog is Nkita. Cats. There are different words for cats. But let me tell you right now, as an enabled person, eh? If you say, how are they pussy? <laughs> Puss. <laughs> you can just say pussy. Everybody know you're talking about cat. You don't even need to, like there are words in here where you don't need to even find the real meaning or the real way of saying it. Just say pussy. Everybody knows that you're talking about cats. And that's, and that's how, what I always called cats when I was growing up, pussy. And you know, having a cat in Igbo land is not as the same as having a cat in, a, in, a, in America. It's different. It's just like, cat's a witch. Cats is used for witchcraft. Why do you have a cat? So I just we just call cat pussy. I'm pretty sure there are other ways to call cats. I'm pretty sure. I'm not even gonna bother because I, I myself I didn't even use those terms. I called it pussy. Pussy is good. <laughs> pussy is the way you say it. cats in it. cats cats in Igbo. Sheep. Sheep is atono atono. I told you can call you can call someone sheep. <laughs> I, I promise this video is not for insulting people, but it's just like everybody does it. Sheep is I told I know maybe you say I told So like you know, with the thing with Anambara people is that most of their words are like the you know you will say to say I told they will say I told like this L instead of that um, R, but. Best believe me, anybody who knows Igbo, whatever word you say, atolo, atolo, they will know what you're talking about. It's just like that in most dialects. Whatever you're saying, the person will know what you're talking about. But yeah, sheep is atono. You can hear, you will hear somebody say, it was atono. You know, sheep are known for not having sense. That's why they say that. Pig, age, age. Pigs are dirty. So you can definitely call someone a pig. Mm -hmm. Pigs, mm -hmm. age. Age, age, lion, 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 lion is autumn, 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 autumn. It's leopard, the leopard, leopard is agon, agon, agon is leopard. Autumn is lion. Don't get it confused, okay? Monkey, and when. You can call somebody a eh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, look at this wow. Hmm. Look at this eh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, in the Igbo language, most of the insults are animals. Like, like, you know, you can't just. I don't know. It's just like if you really want to insult somebody, you have to know animals. You have to know animals, and you compare them to animals. See your legs. Like chimpas. <laughs> snail. Snail is aju. Aju. I love to eat aju. Aju is really good. I love it. Aju. Excuse me. I love aju a lot. Snail is aju. Snake is awo. Awo, wo, wo. <laughs> awo, a snake. Python. Aka. So I know Python is also a snake right the different kinds of snakes but python has a word in evil it's a lizard 
Nguere. Again, the same thing. Some dialects say Nguere. Some dialects say Nguele. Girl, same thing. I'll just go with my Imo State dialect. Nguere. <laughs> Nguere. Korokoda. Korokoda. I will show you Korokoro for your eyes. Are you mad? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think I'm having too much fun with this video. Crocodile is agui. Literally, the the literal translation of agui is lion of the river. Agui. Let me tell you, okay? In Igbo language, if as as um um Animals can be used to insult people. It can also be used to praise people. Like if you call somebody Agu, Agu something, that means you're praising them. You're telling them they're strong. You're telling them they're powerful. So don't get carried away with all the insults that I'm throwing. Animals are used to praise people and insult people also. So like I told you, Owefi. It's a fun, nice name that you, our uncles and aunties call each other. No, aunties don't use it. Maybe they do. I've never heard aunties say it. But it's also an animal. So that's my point. Like, it's not all bad, bad, bad. Agui. You've, you've heard people call themselves Agui. It's actually a praise to say you're strong. The next one is Todd. Todd is owl. Owl. Owl makes a lot of noise. No, that's not the sound for owl. I can't remember. But yeah, our is um Todd. Frog is Akiri. <laughs> Let me tell you, okay? Let me tell you why I'm excited for this video. So some of those words that I'm telling you right now, I haven't used it in 10 years or even more. It's not like, it's not just like words that you use on a regular, right? So for me, when I see them on my list, I'm like, hey, that's... <laughs> You know, wow. So frog, uh, frog is actually tortoise. Tortoise. Tortoise is used. Let me give you a little background, okay, so that you can get it. Tortoise is always in stories when they tell stories, right? They tell it as tortoise is one of the smartest animal ever lived in Igbo, you know, stories. That's how it's told. So tortoise is mbe, mbe, or nabe, 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 or mbe. But most people use mbe. But you call you if you want to say somebody's mbe, onya, onya mbe. You mean you you're basically saying that person is sneaky. Tortoise is known to be sneaky, to be very two faced. So be careful when you try to use this word. To describe somebody because they can be sensitive. I didn't teach you this though. I didn't say go and insult people. Mbe, you don't usually use that. You know, like you call somebody a person will laugh and move on. It's not a big deal. But if you call somebody mbe, you better get ready to explain yourself why you're calling them mbe. Mbe is like a sneaky, smart animal. So I just wanted to give a background story on that. Okay? Yeah. Vulture is udele. 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 Ego is ugu. Ego is an animal of pride. It's not like a regular animal. It's like a, a, a prestigious animal. It's just weird how all these things matter. But yeah, ego, ugo, ego is a. It's like a, you know how you have poor people and rich people. Ego is the rich people. <laughs> Aunt Aboshi, Aboshi bag it in. Hey, on our fufu. You say, oh, I push it, but don't tell him. <laughs> I think, okay, the parts of the body. The parts of the body, when I did the parts of the body, I told you that ass, like your buttocks is uh, EK. It's also called otele. Okay? So when somebody said, I push it, but don't tell him, they're saying the ants beat them in their butt. That's what they're saying. But yeah, I push it, it's not fun. Those things are small, black, and they will just creep up and bite you you wouldn't even know mosquito if you're not from nigeria you know mosquito is real awunta 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 mosquito awunta 
mosquito wo awonta that means mosquito is awonta mosquito wo awonta mosquito is awonta cockroach the roaches roaches is ochicha ochicha see i don't know anaheim has a lot of roaches yes i said it anaheim has a lot of roaches so roaches is ochicha house fly we don't have a lot of house flies out here but house fly is called egg egg they'll be just flying i think they come out a lot in the summer i think yeah house fly is egg egg bed bug <laughs> chinchi chinchi oh i hate okay so one of my the things i hate is anything that curls on your body oh you want to think about bed bug i have goosebumps bed bug is chinchi b b b the b that stings you is ango 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 b is ango crab the crab you guys like to eat i say all you guys will go and buy seafood and you soak it and eat and just enjoy by yourself it's called nshinko crab is nshinko 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 fish fish is asm fish is asm i like asm I eat asm a lot. I like asm. Fish is asm. Bird. Bird is no no. No no. There are different kinds of bird in Igbo language too, but we're just gonna stick with bird. Bird is no no. Codfish. Codfish. If you're from if you live in a in a Nigerian house, you know this. Codfish is okoroko. <laughs> I told you guys, <laughs> I was just having too much fun. There's so many animals, but I'm just gonna stop because I can tell that, you know, it's already a long video. But we're gonna end with Oporoko. I like Oporoko. I like Oporoko in my, in my, uh, abacha, in my soup, in everything. I like Oporoko. I don't like the smell though when you're cooking it and it's just, ugh, nasty. But when it's ready to be eaten, it's good in my belly. If you don't know what Oboroko is, look it up. Codfish. It's really nice. The smell is not, but it's really nice. But yes, that's for today. Um, I don't want to make this long videos too long now. So of course, there's so many, so much more animals out there that I didn't, you know, touch. But you know, we can do part two later on. But yeah, this video was really fun for me, and I hope it was fun for you, and I hope you learned something. And I will post another video on Saturday, by the grace of God. Till then, like it, subscribe, share. I keep saying this, share with your family and friends. Somebody out there is trying to learn Igbo, I know this. I, I'm sure of it. So please share, and let everybody learn Igbo, and it will make me happy. That's your payment to me. You know spreading the word thank you so much i'll see you next time bye